So, oh, that that just looped around, did it? It must have done. Um. Okay. Oh no, this is a, a new area which I hadn't been just yet. So it's two ends of a cave. You, this probably loops around. Yeah, it, it, it loops around. Let's go pick this barrel. Okay. I don't know if I'm overachieving or if it's just, you know, false sense of security. But we can go through the rift and go back to Devil's Crossing. We can speak to him. Dead attacks have slowed and their numbers are thinning. I take that as a sign that you've dealt with the source? I have killed the reanimator. The creature was doing this? Disturbing. Thanks to your efforts, we may yet hold out here a little longer. I've sent word to the gate guard. Speak to him and he should let you in. Take some well-deserved time to rest and recover. Welcome to Devil's Crossing. We need Thank some you. time to plan our strategy. In the meantime, there are others around Devil's Crossing who could use your help. Take a moment to mingle with your fellow survivors. Kasparov, our resident scientist, is really eager to speak with you. He babbled some nonsense, but I believe he wants to talk about your connection with the Ethereals. Barnabas, our handyman, said he needed help with our water pump. When you're done assisting them, speak with me in my office inside the prison. I'll speak to them. Unsoul the Knight, Cory the Keeper, Harmon, yeah. Um. The captain sent you over? He must have done quite a service with the dead if he's got hands to spare for old Barnabas. Let's get to business, yeah? Our wind pump's broken down again and we're running low on water. We're all out of parts, so I can't fix her up. We can always melt down what weapons we have, but. Too fond of being fired in my sleep. I'll need scrap from Lower Crossing. Where can I find it? Ruined houses and the old dumping grounds on the far side of Lower Crossing, past the burial hill. Smash some junk. Search the bodies of those things roaming around out there. Where you get it isn't that important to me. Just that you get it soon. We're running out of drinking water. There's nothing to be said about ever taking a bath again. I get the scrap. So we leveled up. Thing, physique, thing, the gloves. Starting to actually look like a um, force to be, well, not really a force to be reckoned with, but how much? Did you get your scrap? Search the ruined house. Did you get the scrap? No. Um, so I need to find a vendor. Oh, look, a vendor. That was easy. So if we just sell all the um non magic stuff at least um i suppose there's not really any point to um having keeping these weapons is there out of sort let me see if there's Anything worth buying here? That costs the 24. How much money do I actually? 1,100. Oh man, that, I st need to start putting things into spirit now. Magic caster, magic caster. I don't know. Um.
I might be worth buying just for the health regeneration. Okay, it's auto equipped it. Oh, I picked up a ring. That must be one of the things I picked up. Happy days. Right. Um, leave that. I hear you've been cleaning up out there in Lower Crossing. If you're going to keep fighting those bastards, you'll need better equipment than that. Here's something you'll likely never see again in this world, stranger. Something for nothing. Take some iron coin off my hands. I don't need it no more. Why are you helping me? You see, they killed my Annabelle back when the village was first overrun. And nothing gonna bring her back. And if it tries, I'll put a bullet through its skull. I got nothing left but revenge, so I pay good iron to those willing to put down those abominations. Big Pharaohs, Dulis, Dulius, and Negan, for instance, used to all be good men, defenders of the Empire. I know nothing more than shambling fiends stalking the swamp lands of White Mirror. Slaughter them. Okay. Um, and then this guy. Okay, I'm in through here. Gotcha. Welcome to my workshop. I saw you fighting the dead out in Lower Crossing, and I dare say. You were absolutely brilliant. Evidently, cutting you off that noose was the best decision the captain made that day. Ah, where are my manners? I'm Kasparov, scientist and inventor. What brings you to my humble shop? Captain said you wanted to speak to me. Rift gates, yes. The ethereals use them to get around. I was working on a way to close them, but then you stumbled through ours. We have never seen a human, possessed or otherwise, pass through one before. Not a living one, anyway. It was then that I realized that we could put these portals to use. There is something about you that is attuned to the rift gate, and I intend to replicate it. Wait, I what? You don't remember anything, do you? I may have taken some liberties while you were out cold. It was just a few tests, a blood sample or two. Major. The results were curious. It appears that your body is still teeming with residual aether energies. Don't worry, you won't be growing any new limbs. Probably. But I'm going on tangents here. I believe that with a correctly tuned pulse of aether energy, we can replicate this phenomenon in a controlled manner, as in without the need for pesky possession. I've been working on just the device to do it, but it needs power. For that, I require Aether Crystal Fragments. Okay, that's where. Um, like this? Excellent. These? these will do perfectly. I'll just place them into my device here, and... Oh my, that's not right. Not at all. That pulse, it wasn't supposed to go off. Oh dear. One, two, three... Yes, my fingers are still intact. Did it reach you too? How do you feel? I feel stronger. Ah, very good. I'm sure a little more aether in your system won't do you the slightest harm. Okay, maybe it was a lot more. But you look fine. Fitter than ever. A real shame about the prototype, though. Showed such promise. Perhaps if I had more fragments. I think we're done here. Ah, we've been so preoccupied with this rift gate business that I completely forgot about my apprentice, Starlet. I sent her out to the Burwich Estates to fetch parts for our research, and she's been gone entirely too long. Seems her ineptitude carries beyond just the workstation. You lost your apprentice. I, have to say, I do feel a little responsible for her now that she's my apprentice. Could you please go out there and find that hopeless girl? Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Um. So there we go, we've unlocked that stuff. So that's more physique and health. Um, this activates when health is drops below 33%. Um, restores 15% health. And then 30 health regenerator per second, which could be handy. Um, that adds elemental damage. 33% physical damage converted to elemental damage. Um, that requires a two-handed melee weapon. Activates when taking damage. 35% all damage. Just please. And then... Hmm.
All right, I'll do that. I'll do that. I think that's good. So we shall... Back up. So it's something about Anastasia. I think that's world map wise. There's Burbage. Burbage is dead. So is that really up there? Is that really where it's sending me for like a second mission? Or a second quest? Oh well. Um. We'll have a wee stroll about. Okay. Okay, so there's a weird... Oh, there's... Rest here, okay. This is working out okay. I'm killing things with two hits, and then it's giving me that... Uh... So, here are you. Tell this. We're all going to die out here. Calm down where you're from. Stand with a group of survivors down Devil's Crossing. You know, the old prison. But supplies started running low. I volunteered to go scavenging around Dora Crossing. Figured it was safe enough, but I was wrong. I got just in here by a pack of ravenous rift scourges. But I can't hear their maddening skittering anymore. I suppose I have you to thank for that. Doesn't matter though, the area is overrun with the dead. We won't make it five feet without getting surrounded. Uh, yeah, the way uh, I could open the rift grip. Um, uh, what? Well, isn't that what those those things are pouring out of? Well, sort of, but mine will take you home. I'm having a hard time believing that after what I've seen up in Burbage. But you don't seem to have the look of that taken about you. I suppose this is my only option. See you back at Devil's Crossing. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Right, um interesting to see what that does for me or for us or whatever way you want to look at it oh so that's where the wee boat takes over there it's an untouched meter hmm. you wonder if i had like a spell hmm let's try force field see what that does anything just out of curiosity nope. um because I was thinking, you know, along the lines of Hirsch Mersh, no, um, along the lines of um, destructible environment, if it destroyed what was on fire, then maybe it would um, do stuff. Anyhow, here is untouched meal. This just looks like a great idea. Um, isn't there? Um, let's go back to that boat then. Because if that's just across the way, if we can remember where the boat was, is this it? Oh. Where the hell was the boat? Didn't think it was this far south, but maybe it was. Hey, scrap. Okay, so we need five pieces of scrap for that mission. Um, yeah, legit, legit, bleh. legitimately must have been way down here. Okay. Uh, 
Fences is no. There's more experience. Tonic of Mandium, which I haven't found myself spamming yet. I'm sure the time will come. I didn't think it was, you know. A crack lodestone, what's that thing? One of these? Oh, it is. It adds, um, oh, lodestone, yeah, it's. Tends to be used for electricity esque kind of things. Um, just in games in general, I'm not sure what the real life aspect is. But anyway, um,. More scrap. Right. I want to find that boat again. Is it over here? There it is. There you are, you little bastard. <laughs> um... You'll see, this will probably be a completely higher. Oh, what? No, no, it is a higher level area, but it's level 5, so. We are level 6, so it's manageable. Very manageable. Um. Well, these are taking three hits for some. For some reason. Okay, strong box. Something good should be in here. Right. Um. We have a helmet, which we need eighty-one spirit for. We have. New trousers, which we'll go ahead and stick on. Um, opponents, all weapon shields, shields, eh? So, we have fire past. Strap of the, ah, sweet, a belt. Uh, four physique, four cunning, and 10% cunning. And there we go, we have all the scrap that we need. Um. So things are starting to hurt. Thing fries are done. Um. So that. Oof. You absolute bastard. So it can either. I suppose technically. Mm, is it going to bring me 130? No, it's not. Is it going to bring me 80? No, it's not. Lore. 
And we can go into here. I'm going to put a new skill point in there. Add one to there. Increase our physique. Oh, you bastard. If I put more points into that physique, then I would have been able to, you know, equip that. Um... Yeah, I would have been able to equip the um, armor, but oh well. I'm sure I don't need to be picking up everything, but if, if you have the space, why not? So that's a two-hander, yep. Okay, good. Any better than what I have? Technically, yes. There we go. So there's grit, grit, breaches. My inventory is full. Better than what I have. More cunning, more spirit, five physique. That's more bleeding damage, but doesn't mean I have to do bleeding damage for it to actually, you know, be effective. Who knows? Um. And crossbow that you know I don't use. Um okay, I'll take that. So that's this we island cleared at least. So should I turn on veteran difficulty? And if I should, where did it? Um, okay, there's your loot filter. Happy days. And you can filter damage for those things. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go with the bigger compass. And I'm gonna admit it, I literally only just noticed the um, best objectives there. I should probably go back to town and sell off the um, stuff that I don't actually need. Because, you know, there's a lot of shit that I don't actually need there. So hang on. This is better damage, apparently. Hmm. So if I throw you guys down there, equip you, get you there. There we go. So Back to Devil's Crossing. You'll hand in the scrap pieces, we might as well. Um, Did you get the scrap? Oh, this effects. I'll get the wind pump up and running in no time. Devil's Crossing will have safe drinking water again, and it's all thanks to you. First class is on me. Glad I could help. The good news is, I got the water pumping again. The only problem is, it smells like a sewer. I mean, about a tenfold worse. Smelled something this rotten since since, since I cleared out a den of slith ages ago. They're loathsome reptiles, make their homes in swamps and dank caves. They secrete a nasty poison into the water that makes it drinkable for them, but nearly always fatal to us. I bet good iron there's a nest in that cave that fuels our pump. I'm too old for all this spelunking, so I need you to go down there and kill it. 
I do. I get to get. Open the cellar in the shack behind me, right by that accursed rift gate. It connects to the bowels of the prison, which should lead you to the cave. Find the slip matriarch that's likely polluting our water supply, and the poison should clear out on its own. You do this, and all the Devil's Cross will be honoring your name with every glass. I'll take care of this. Yes, and it's this side. Yep. So let's go take care of Sliss. Actually, let's go sell our shit first. I wonder what level of enemies it's going to be down there. Um, you left of my wares. So I want to keep that because I don't have a helmet. Selling that, selling that, yeah, I'll render all that stuff. Um, might as well just render everything. Except for that, because I want to keep that as well. So we need 130 physique, so we need three more physique for the armor. And then we need three more spirit. Put it to good use. For the um, helmet. 